Hey everyone, it's Kirk McLean here, and you're watching Clay's Canucks Commentary. Hey Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary Live, presented to you by Van City Experts Real Estate. I am still a horse, Canuck Clay. I'm not a horse, I'm Canuck Clay, and my voice is horse, and this is my show my Canucks take all in one take it is Thursday night October the 26th if you're new here's what you should do hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive timely and trustworthy now believe it or not I actually feel way better so Tuesday was my worst day Wednesday was not great but better today I feel way better I still look good you guys might not believe me about my because my voice is still cracky but I feel fine. Actually, I feel really, really good. No headache, no sore throat. So that means my cold just got to pass through my 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 head now, basically, and my, and my throat. So I feel fine. I truly do, but I appreciate all the well wishes. Having said that, I might not go too late tonight. I might only go for about 30 minutes or so, just so I can, um, I can get as much rest as I can. I got to do a bit before I go to bed tonight, and then I have a full day at work tomorrow. And then I'm at the game tomorrow night. So I'm trying not to cheer too loud at the game. I don't know how that's going to work, but I still appreciate all of you being here. So let's get going. Moderators, do what you need to do. Members, that's legends, Hall of Fame franchise members, thanks for your support as always. And to everyone else, no matter where you're watching from, whether in my beautiful neighborhood of Richmond and Seafson, in the city, lower mainland, province, country, continent, or around the world, thank you for being here. You know that I know that you could be doing anything else, watching anyone else, getting ready for work, school, or better all three, but the fact that you are here with me, I always appreciate you, and I never take you for granted. Edmund saying I sound better, thank you. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to actually try not to go too crazy. I'm going to speak very calmly, because, you know, I'm such a calm person by nature, maybe a little bit close to the mic, so this isn't no ASMR action. This is just me trying to rest my voice. But I'm going to go calm. I'm going to go collected. I'm going to go smooth. And I'm only going to go about 30 minutes or so tonight. So I hope that you understand. I almost canceled tonight, actually, but I thought, no, I actually get a lot of energy from being with all of you. So this is how you can get involved. You can subscribe so you can get active in the chat section and get notified of my videos every day. Oh, a bit of a dip tonight. We're only at 30 people. Usually by here, we're about 50 or 60 people. So maybe no Canucks games for a couple of days. I get it. There's 30 of you in here. Thank you. Only about six likes. So let's get that up to about 10, 12 likes if we can. Um, and I would always appreciate, I would appreciate that you can leave a donation and get the don donation train out of the station. You can gift a membership. It gives someone franchise membership for a month. You can become a member yourself. You can uh, upgrade your own membership. And if you're listening on a podcast platform, listening to this scratchy horse voice, uh, you can give a uh, rate and review on the podcast platform as well. Also, you can do what Lucas just did. And that is use your monthly membership message. So let's recognize that first and foremost. Lucas is on a roll. Let's go. Like, sub, member, and more. Officially on the last weekend of my 30th year around the sun. That's right. Lucas turns 31 on November 1st. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool uh, milestone. Well, every birthday is a cool milestone. So Lucas... Thank you for being a member for 33 months. Pretty darn impressive. Then we have another legend coming through. Legendary Carol Bovelander comes through with a one Connect Claim membership. Thank you, Carol. And that $5 donation serves as a free monthly membership to franchise for Indigo Hurt. So welcome back to the CCC Indigo and thank you, Carol. So thank you, Carol. Thank you, Lucas, for the early, early donations. So I'm getting some uh, good feedback in the in the chat right now. We have, um, where was it? Matt said, 
Matt said, hey, Clay, glad you're feeling fine, but when your voice is rough, you do need to rest it. Am I saying you talk too much? Hey, Matt, you can say whatever you want, man, but uh, you wouldn't be the first if you were saying that I talk too much. I saw Kai M.A. Thank you, my my Game Over Vancouver co-host taking care of me, saying, honey, citrus mint tea works wonders. Well, I do know right after this, I'll have my my Tylenol, my Neo Citrin, and my and my my Chinese medicine that tastes horrible, but that must mean it's working. Yeah, I think, I think. Matt, where are you coming from again? 7 a.m. So where are you? I know Burns in Germany. It's 8 a.m. So you must be somewhere in Europe, Matt. Refresh me where you are. I appreciate that. Jason, we've got to recognize this. <laughs> I'll take this as a compliment. Jason says, starting my second month and still haven't canceled. Wow. I will take what I'll, I'll take that. That's a win for me. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate your your loyalty as well. And you being here, you're in the UK. That's awesome, Matt. Okay, I want to talk about a couple of things real quick. Uh, nothing too exciting, but um, you know, I'll, I'll talk about a couple of stories that we're making, making their way around the league. And of course, I guess the big one today isn't Canucks related, but it's uh, RFA Shane Pinto of the Ottawa Senators suspended for 41 games for betting. Now, it's not betting on NHL games. They they did say that it's not on NHL games. They made it very clear in the statement. And I believe it's because um, it had to do with something like, I don't know if he was involved with a betting company that's partners with the NHL. I may have that part wrong. I just know that in the statement it said that it wasn't betting on NHL games, but it had something to do with um, he was Either he was partners or involved with a company, or he's, maybe he was placing bets with a company that is a betting, that is a partner of the NHL. Because you know how there's so many like sports, um, sports betting places now. They're 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 kind of rising up and becoming more sponsors of, of channels of shows and maybe of the NHL. It's kind of confusing because they didn't come out and say it. They're, they haven't come out and said exactly what it is. But we do know that Shane Pinto is um, suspended for 41 games. We do know that he's accepted it. He's issued an apology. We do know that he is not going to appeal it. And we do know that it helps uh, the Ottawa Senators for a little bit. They don't have to worry about signing him until his, his suspension is done. So obviously that wasn't done on purpose just to get them out of a, a salary cap uh, a kerfuffle, but uh, not even interesting timing, just tricky timing because you, you, uh, you obviously Shane Pinto wants to get back on the ice. The Ottawa Senators back, want him back on the team. Rumors were that they were getting closer and closer to your deal, but then the talk stopped, likely because uh, the Ottawa Senators were informed that the NHL was investigating. So once again, Shane Pinto, Shane Pinto suspended for 41 games. Lucas, another donation. Says, I do plan on being here on Tuesday, October the 31st. I normally don't attend Tuesday night streams due to early mornings, but to heck with it. Yeah, Lucas, for sure. Uh, well, or or come on Wednesday when it's at your actual birthday. Well, you do whatever you want. You're a legend. You can do whatever you want. Thank you, Lucas, for the donation. Everyone gives Lucas some love. Yeah, I w- I'm going to have to see what my show schedule is going to be like next week in terms of my health. But more importantly, um, I always talk about the first week of November, I have the the biggest work event of the year. It's a grade seven youth rally, 2000 grade sevens out in Surrey at Pacific Academy School. And I, I do try and stream as much as I can, especially because the Canucks are playing at least on, <coughs> they're playing on Tuesday, the Halloween night, hosting Nashville. And they're playing Thursday in San Jose. And I think I have game over, so I better get my voice back over the weekend that's for sure thank you lucas for that generous donation so i see a lot of comments in the in the in the chat about you know what's going on with shane pinto uh, whether it's your fantasy pool or the known since training camp oh okay that kai that's good maybe i'll, I'll watch game over at ottawa because they, they'd obviously know a lot more about it than i would that's good to know thank you for that that is good for that. And Kaya, Kaya had p- dance recitals at Pacific Academy. It's a nice school. Chandos Patterson Auditorium is a very nice auditorium. 
Justin says Pinot was supposedly appreciative of how the sins were secretive of it. Wow, I did not know that. Where did uh, Justin? I want to read that. Tell me where you saw that. That is, that is interesting. Yet, yeah, if that's true, if that's true, then yeah, that does put Ottawa in hot water. That is that is fascinating. By the way, I want to um, highlight what happened elsewhere in the league today because a lot of good news for the country. Now, I hope you'd agree with me that it's pretty awesome that we are scoreboard watching three weeks into the season. I can't remember a time this early in the year where I actually care, and I care deeply about what's happening across the league and that's because the Canucks are still, they're still second in the Pacific Division. Because right now, the Pacific Division absolutely sucks. So let's look at what happened tonight. And for the most part, it's really good news for the Canucks. You had the Ducks that beat the Bruins, actually. Is that the first loss for the Bruins? And whatever. Well, actually, the Ducks actually are, are in the middle of the division. You have the Kraken losing in OT, so they get a point, but that's good. They lost. You have the Sharks losing. I'm not worried about the Sharks. They, they lost very badly. You have the Flames getting shut out, 3 nothing. You have the Oilers getting shut out, 3 nothing. So I'm not sure who's going to score in the Heritage Classic this weekend. But yes, um, one of those teams got to win, though. So, good night. Oilers lose, Flames lose, Sharks lose, Kraken lose. They get a point, and Ducks win. The only th three teams that weren't playing were Vegas, Vancouver, and LA, who happen to be the top three teams in the Pacific Division. So, we go to the Pacific Division standings. Yes, that was Ottawa, uh, Boston's first loss. Interesting. So, in the Pacific Division, we are outright in second. When I say outright, that means, like I said, you consider everyone's games in hand too. Because, you know, that's the tricky part about looking at stats and looking at standings is you always got to factor in the games in hand. So a lot of people actually look at points percentage as opposed to actual points. But for now, Vegas, obviously, I keep saying this, they're the, 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 the cream of the crop in the Pacific. But the Canucks have eight points in six games, good for 6-6-7. Six, six, LA has seven points in six games, so they're right behind us. But then everyone else has played more games and they're at least two points behind. You have Anaheim in fourth, Seattle tied for fourth, but in fifth because they play one more game. You have Calgary who suck. You have Edmonton who suck even more. And then you have San Jose who really, really suck. So yes, Pacific Division. And, and here's, how do you know that Pacific Division is really bad? There's only three teams over 500. Vegas, who's perfect. Us and LA. Look at the other three divisions. In the Atlantic, you have one, two, three, four, five, six teams that are 500. If the Canucks were in this division, we'd actually be in six with eight points. Isn't that crazy? You have the Metropolitan Division where one, two, three, four, five, six teams are over, are 500 or over. And you have the Central Division where one, two, three, four, five, six, six teams are 500 or over. So all three divisions have six teams over 500, 500 or over, and then the Pacific Division only has three. I'm not complaining. All I'm saying is that, yes, the Pacific Division is kind of weak right now. So we have to take advantage. We have to take advantage by beating St. Louis, hopefully tomorrow. We have to take advantage by hopefully beating New York on Saturday. Now, the Canucks practice today. They had the exact same lineup as they did when they beat uh, whoever they beat most recently, Nashville on Tuesday. So you had Pedersen, Kuzmenko, and Mikheyev. You had the PBJ line of Phil, Brock, and JT. So Miller between Besser and and P Phil DiGiuseppe. You had a th third line of Suter, Joshua, and Garland, and a fourth line of Lafferty, Beauvillier, and Hoglander. That means, again, it looks like Jack Sucknika will be the extra forward. Andy Hughes Ronick. Right now, is it uh is it Susie with Myers or Cole with Myers? Is it I think it's Susie with Myers, right? And then Cole with Friedman. Is that the way they're doing it? And then that means Noah Juleson is your extra. Apparently, Teddy Bluger is close to returning to skating, but that doesn't mean he's close to returning the lineup. 
And apparently there's some really, really good um, news with pod calls. And it's still, it's only been 24 hours since that very, very scary hit yesterday. But apparently um, Ian McIntyre, reporter from Sportsnet, did see pod calls in around Rogers Arena and said that pod calls in looked uh, and was feeling pretty fine. So that's a good thing too. Okay, friends, I'm going to um, I'm going to do my Mitchell sponsor read, and then I'm only going to do 10 to 50 minutes of questions, but I'll do it as much as I can. It's Susie and Myers. Thank you, Kaime. I appreciate that. And yeah, PB and J-Line, peanut butter and jam, Phil, Brock, and JT. So let me do my Mitchell sponsor read, and then I'll do 10 to 50 minutes of questions. And then, like I said, it's going to be a short, um, a shorter stream tonight just so I can rest my voice. A little bit. So shout out to my primary sponsor, Advanced Seed Experts Real Estate. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Shout out to my secondary sponsor, Perform and Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Check them out at ptform.com. Thank you to Gassy Jack Art, maker of that fine artwork. Oh, good. I pointed the right one. Thank you to Monkey Nine Brewing, my eternal sponsor. And thank you to Vessi Footwear. Use the discount. I uh, use the URL, tinyurl.com slash Vessi Clay and receive a free pair of socks off of your next Vessi purchase. I've been wearing my brand new Vessi overcast jacket, the one I fake modeled on my Instagram and my Twitter. Love it, love it, love it. It's amazing. Haven't used the belt bag yet, but I do have it right here. As I probably, oh, I'm going to wreck my stream if I go try and grab it from underneath my computer. So just trust that I have the belt bag as well. So thank you to Vessi. Also, a couple other reminders. I did a video about this today. And actually, I think, oh, that didn't look right. Let's try that again. Oh, it still doesn't look right. How come? Oh, no, it, it does look right. It just doesn't look right on mine. So I've just basically zoomed in and out three times on the same thing. I did a full video about this today. It's the road trip to Seattle. I think uh, uh, someone, I, I won't say their name, but I, I, I know that someone bought today the package, which is really, really cool. So Friday, November the 24th, Canucks versus Kraken. And three things, you get return transportation to and from Seattle on a bus. You get downtown, one night stay at uh, Weston downtown, Seattle. And then you get um, a ticket to the game, obviously in the uh, upper section, but in the middle section. So it's a really good seat. I've been in the arena. It's awesome. $649 for that package, valued about seven and 750 Canadian or so. So if you're interested, contact Neil Chark, Neil C at uniglobecarefree.ca. Again, that's Neil C at uniglobecarefree.ca. I am going. Crazy P is going. I think they only have about uh, 15 to 20 seats left. They've already sold more than 25 or 30. So if you want to get in on this on this uh, trip, contact Neil for sure. It's going to be a lot of fun. Don't forget, if you're looking for Canucks tickets, email me at connectclay at gmail.com. And I do not have shows lined up for this Friday or this Saturday because I usually don't do streams on the weekend and I'm going to games both nights. I already know tomorrow night that Sean and I have to run an errand. So I will not be streaming tomorrow night for sure. And likely not Saturday either. A good chance for me to rest my voice. Although I don't know how I'm going to rest my voice while, while being at a Canucks game, me and being quiet, especially at a game, those two things don't go hand in hand. If you're at the game tomorrow and you're not afraid to get sick by being around me, I will be um, outside of section 311 at the second intermission. So if you're at the game again tomorrow night, Canucks versus Blues, and you want to say hi, second intermission, I'll be outside of section 311. It's not a formal meetup because who am I to call a meetup? Oh, actually, I've done that before. But no, I'll just be hanging out in the concourse and you can hang out with me and I'll be going with my son, Sean. So if you want to, if you want to meet Sean in the flesh, come and see us during the second intermission outside of section 311 as well. Reminder to you to subscribe, to like the video, to leave a donation, become a member, upgrade a membership, or buy your own membership, or or gift a membership. That's what it is. And I'm so grateful for all of you who do things like that. And if you're listening on a podcast platform, make sure you rate and review. So let's get to 10 to 15 minutes of your questions, and we will go from there. Legendary Carol Boglander, Clay. I sh- oh, I like C space L space A Y space. I love it. Clay, I sure hope you're feeling better before you have your important weekend with your youth group. Please raise your voice. I think that's please rest your voice. Yes, I'll try and rest it over the weekend, even so- though I'm at a game. So I'm going to have to figure out how that works. But thank you very much for your donation, Carol. 
always appreciate you. Okay, I think I should get to some of your comments now. Clay, you'll have to jump and wave more to make up for the noise you can't make. Deaf people will think you're the loudest guy. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. I'll just do this the whole time. I can clap. I can do this. I can boo. I never give the finger, so we'll, we'll be okay. How long was suspension? Do you see the player that hit pods getting luck, uh, getting? Luckily, he's okay spotting walking by the arena. Yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised they didn't say anything today. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think there was an intent to injure. It's a bit of a dangerous play, and maybe it was unfortunate. Maybe he gets one or two games. I can't see it being more than that, but I could be totally, totally wrong. Prediction for the next three games. I say two on one. Yeah, I think that's fair. They should be able to beat Nashville. I have a feeling that they're actually going to beat New York. And I have a feeling that tomorrow, for some reason, I have a feeling that tomorrow is going to be a tricky game and they might lose an extra time. I hope not. St. Louis did win 3 nothing tonight. So, um, yeah, uh, I think 2 and one is, is fair. And I, I would say that the one that they don't win is tomorrow. But that's not what I hope. That's That's what I'm trying to predict, though. Hunter Brustavich, 11 games, 5 goals and 16 assists, 21 points. Tied for first in the O. Wow. What pairing do I think he'd be on? I'm not I'm not willing to say that he's gonna be a top four D man, but with that kind of off, yeah, he he might be a really good sleeper pick. Yeah, I think it's really a little slammer too early to to project because I don't even know who's gonna be on the team when he gets here, but let's just say that is is excellent. I think I missed one. Hey, Clay, if you need another sponsorship, I could potentially get you in with a company who deals with glasses and eyewear. Mm, I'm intrigued. Lucas, let's talk offline. That's interesting. Interesting. I'll be less than 40 kilometers away from Section 311 watching from home. Hey, that's probably a good place to be. Neither Alberta team has been good. I agree. Shannon also saying two and one. There we go. I was in Vancouver in August and saw you with your family at Tawasin Mills. I think it was just a few days before your injury. Yes, I remember being at Tawasin Mills. I wonder if that was... Ernest, was that on a Friday night? Because I got injured on Saturday, August the 12th. And I was in Peru until August the 5th. So I wonder if that was, yeah, that week of August 6th to 12th. 3-0. Love it, Rick. Love it. A major reason why Pinto hasn't requested trade is because he appreciated the sense keeping the investigation secret. Wow. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate you you sharing that. Can I see McDonough getting a call up if necessary? Maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if he's the first one called up, Fangirl, because you still have Stanika waiting in the wings, and maybe it's Podkos and Aratu. But yeah, uh, maybe McDonough does get called up by the end of the year. Suspension started in game one in regular season, so it doesn't matter when he signs. Also, since he can't sign an offer sheet, the December 1 deadline doesn't apply to him. That's right. So he will join, I guess, the Sens later in the year. Well, obviously, I thank you, Captain Obvious. I have a feeling that the Oilers are fire Jay Woodcroft. Yeah, you, they can't. Uh, yeah, with a team with that much talent, you can't be as bad as they are. In regards to Pinto Ottawa, I wonder if the new ownership knew as the negotiation was ongoing before the deal was closed. Yeah, it is such a tricky, weird story. Love for Pod Colson. There's Ottawa dodge the bullet signing Pinto. Well, I kind of joked about that film where I don't think it was intentional, but um, but yeah, now they have um now they have a bit of space and a bit of flexibility, I think. Which prospect do you think has a chance of making the team this year? Uh if we don't consider Hoglander and Pod Colson prospects anymore. Maybe McWard will get some time. Maybe Aturatu will get some time. Maybe. Usually, Fangirl, there is, I don't know, three, four, or five coaching changes. So maybe, maybe I'll say that three or four. J July 30th. I think I was in Peru on July 30th, though. So it couldn't have been that date, or it was another good-looking guy. 
Yeah, I was in Peru still on July 30th. So maybe it was the next Sunday. Maybe it was August 6th. I'm trying to think if I have it uh, in my phone anywhere. Yeah, because we we didn't get back from Peru until the 5th. Okay. We'll see. But thank you for trying. Thank you for trying. I appreciate it. You should have said hi. I knew he was not worth signing. Why would the NHL suspend him 41 games? I I, I guess they're they're trying to set an example, Kempner, that they're not gonna they're not gonna yeah, it's a big suspension, but obviously they're not gonna mess around with this one. Obviously half the game, half the season. How many points overall do you feel now? Knowing how good the team is. Well, Taylor, I, I'm not gonna there there's it's still a long season. I do like the and I, I did say the Canucks have to be 13 games over five hundred. That's two games over 500 a month, and they're on that pace. So I'm actually not going to waver yet for my 95-point prediction. Does the Pendo situation hurt Ottawa's chance at dealing with free agents? Great question, Lucas. I'm not sure because that team is building. They got a lot of good young players. So I don't know. Maybe free agents will want to go there, although it's Ottawa and it's Canada. So I don't know. I wonder if Edmonton will fire their management too. Yeah, coaching and management. Usually it's one or the other. At least at one time. Brandstrom was stretching off the ice in the second period of tonight's game. Ah, oh, I did not see that. Thank you, Justin. Who is my candidate for the first coach to get in the axe? Well, well, it could be Jay Woodcroft. It could also be a Calgary Flames coach. No, but he just got there, right? Yeah, maybe it is Woodcroft. Which players on the Canucks are going to score the first goal in the three games we have? I think you can't go wrong with uh, with PD, Kuzminko, and Miller, but it could be anyone. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but if anyone can help film or wax out, uh, acknowledge yourself if you are an expert in hockey cards. Well, someone's got to win. I'm going to go Edmonton. Not because I, I don't care. I'll say Edmonton 2-1. The... Those outdoor games aren't always, they're not very high scoring usually, right? Yeah, let's go 2 1. Would I say Zach Cassian was a bust? Uh, no, I wouldn't say he's a bust because he did have a serviceable, wouldn't he have a 12 year career? So not a bust, but he certainly didn't live up to potential. But I don't think he's a bust. I love RB music, especially old school 90s. R and B, and I like uh, I like Christian music. Those two types, gospel. DJ Smith, is that what kind of music? Oh no, he's a coach. Have the Oilers finally tuned Warcraft out? One five one. Yeah, that's really bad. I don't I don't know. There's something wrong there for sure. You are here. Thoughts on the Oilers? I don't have any thoughts. Although I have McDavid in my fantasy pool, so he's the only reason why I want them to do well, but not better than the Canucks. Uh, I. I don't hate them, but I, I don't like them that much. Brock Besser gets a goal this coming weekend. I agree. I agree. Brock, Be Brock Besser. <laughs> Do we beat the Rangers? Yes, we beat the Rangers. Outdoor is not usually high scoring. 5-1 Heritage Class. Really? The I know the one where Ottawa beat Vancouver was 4-2. Was that the one you're talking about? I think it was 4-2. Or 3-2 or 4-2. I just don't remember high, um, outdoor games being high scoring, but maybe I'm wrong. This is Shane Pinto of the Ottawa Senator Shannon. He got uh, suspended 41 games for betting, not on NHL games, but for, for betting on some type of sport. Ryan Huska in Calgary. Yeah, I agree. Lucas, he's having trouble too. Sweet. Send it on to me. Fillmore. Played 12 years, did show glimpses of great power forward, but we wish he had more time here. Yeah, he could be good. Tubby. Tubby is here, so I think we need to pay homage to Tommy being here by listening to his pretty sweet music. Ah, uh, yes. Tubby is the one who gave me my soundtrack. We listen to it every single show. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you think Bedard will ever be a Canuck? I don't. I don't. Um, unlike the NBA, you can't as easily force your way to a team. So I don't think um, he'll be a Canuck. I really don't. David Quinn, are the Sharks to be fired? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just think, yeah, they're expected to be bad. But 0-6-1 is pretty bad. But no one was picking them to do well this year. I hope we do well as well. What's my favorite part of going to live games? I think it's two things. It's cheering on the team live. I know it sounds kind of obvious, but it's true. And it's meeting fellow fans, quite frankly. It's, it's meeting fans. Not fans of me. Fans of the Canucks. When do we think we get an outdoor game? Not for a while. We don't have the proper place for it. Yeah, I don't think it was 5-1. Uh, <laughs> and you're 11. Thank you for reminding me. Would you want Tanit back for the right price? But I don't know. Is that, is that it's getting old, right? Forty-one games is a little too much. Yeah, you're you're not the first person to say that. I do not think Tanit will be a Canuck again. I'm dressing up as a 1920s gangster. Nice. Should have dressed as the Oilers and Flames as a garbage can. Nice. I like the soundtrack. Me too. I love the soundtrack. Me too. Do you ever see Quinn joining the Devils? No. I hope not. We do whatever we can to keep him here. Whatever we can to keep him here. Legendary Lucas Gates, five dollar donation. Thank you. Something feels like DJ Smith in Ottawa, Jay Woodcraft, Edmonton, Ryan Huska in Calgary could be first to be relieved. Yeah, and all three coaches of Canadian teams. I missed no season ticket members Q and A. Used to host in the off season. Yeah, a summer summit was what it was called. I want Tanev back for what? For hair points. Do you know what price for road trip is for single? Yeah, I think they add 200 bucks, Jason. I think it's eight. I think it's 849. Actually, it says it at the bottom of that graphic, but I'm going to look it up. Actually, I have it on my on my uh, computer as well. I think it's 849. But I'm going to look real quick if I can see it. Oh, I don't have it handy. Yeah, it says it on the graphic. I, you know, I'm going to pull up the graphic one more time and see if I can see it. Because at the very bottom of the the graphic, but it's so small. Can anyone see it on their screen? How much the package is for a single? I think it says eight forty nine or eight ninety nine, which would seem kind of high. But contact Neil, contact Neil, and he will he will tell you for sure. All right, last five minutes, you guys. With the Rangers quick getting a shutout tonight and a day break in between games, do they run quick against Saturday versus us because of the shutout? No, I think you got to go Shesterkin. You got to go back to him. I, I think it's great that Quick got the shutout, but I don't think you ride him just because he got a shutout. He is the backup for sure. Music at the games is the best. DJ is good. Yeah, he's good. Power ranking. I put us in the top 10, maybe ninth or 10th. I wouldn't put us top five or anything like that. Quinn has never joined the Devils. As an older sibling, I would also want to be across the continent from my siblings rather than work with them the whole year. It was August 7th for sure. I just checked my photos. It's definitely not your double ganger because I recognize your whole family. Awesome. You should have said hi. August 7th sounds right. That sounds like a Monday, right? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, because that was BC Day. No, it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing there. I got injured on August 12th, Ernest. Would it be hilarious for both Alberta coaches to dismiss their coaches? Oh, yes. That would be amazing. Jack should come here. Climate pledge, uh, food is crazy expensive. 16 bucks for medium pop, another 50 on nachos. Wow, 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 wow. DJ Thomas, great tracks. You're welcome, Jay. 889 for single occupancy. Yeah, that sounds right. It sounds a little high, but uh, find a roomie. Bring someone. Quinn's brother should come here. Oh, this is one of the first times we've had both Kaya's in here. This is exciting. We have Kaya with a J and Kaya with a Y. Hockey guy had as high as 10 for power rankings. That makes sense. That makes sense. At Canucks game, beer is 12 to 15 bucks. Indeed. All right, friends. Um, last thing we'll do, and then I'll wrap up. Give me your predictions for the next three home games. St. Louis on Friday, Rangers on Saturday, Nashville on Tuesday. What will the Canucks record be? I said 2-0-1. Many of you have said 2-0-1. 
what else do you think? And last thing, well, sheesh, you end up, you're at tomorrow's game. Okay, awesome. If you, you don't have to, but if you want to say hello, um, second intermission, I'll be outside section 311 with my son, Sean. Who do you think is the best goalie tandem in the NHL? Huh? Well, huh? The best goalie tandem. That's a good question. I think Carolina's is good with Anderson and Ranta. If they're they're just okay, but together they're good. Um, any? I, I don't know the backups actually. I don't know the backups very well for like uh, for who's the backup to Shesterkin to Sorokin. I, we see Tampa's backup right now. That's a good question, Kempner. I, I think the Canucks are right up there if Casey DeSmith continues to play well. But I, I'd have to look at it. Obviously, whoever's playing in Vegas is good. <laughs> All right, three wins. One, one, and one. Three and oh. Two and one. Three and oh. Two, oh, and one. Two and one. Three and oh. One, two, and one. That's four games, but that's okay. Two and one. Skinner and Campbell, very good. If, if I go to the Halloween game, I usually don't dress up. I just dress up as a really good-looking Canucks fan, so no costume required. Definitely eat beforehand or come find me, and we'll do our best to make your night. Most of my supervisors are pretty cool. Yeah, actually, thanks, Justin. I know uh, I have my hookups now, so I'm very grateful for them as well. Are you okay with people stopping and chatting with you while you are Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. My family's cool with it. It's not like I'm a celebrity. It's not like uh, I value... <clears throat> no it's not like i don't value my family time but i don't it's not so precious to me that i won't say hi to someone like gail gets a kick out of it the the kids they more roll their eyes because then i then i'm all proud of myself after i meet someone but no i love i love meeting people especially at games or at the mall or wherever i get stopped that's not a lot sister comes back up as quick that would make sense considering we were just talking about him thank you three no Sirloin's backup is Vlarmov. Who's Sirloin's? <laughs> Who's Sirloin's? Is that like a steak joke? What am I missing? Oh, Sorokin. Sorokin and Valon. Very good. I think they're going to play DeSmith tomorrow and Demko on Saturday. That's my guess. That's my guess. Thompson and Hill. I like that. I agree with that. Very good, you guys. Oh, yeah. You're just four sections over, Ashish. Do what you can. Clay was super nice when I bumped into him at the team. Well, thank you, Gerald. I do remember that. And we should bump into each other more. Not like physically bump into each other, but you know what I mean. Sorokin, steak, sirloin. Love it, Kaime. That's how I want to end, thinking about steak. There we go. Okay, friends, you guys are awesome. Thanks for putting up with my horrible voice. I'm going to try and rest it on the weekend somehow by going to two games, and then I'll see how I'm doing on Sunday. So as always, on your way out, subscribe, like the video, leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, or gift a membership. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovlander, legendary Andrew Chang for your constant support. And thanks to Hall of Fame and franchise members as well. Moderators, thank you for keeping this a, a safe space. And Lucas, thank you for using a membership message. So did Jason. Carol gifted a, a membership. And Lucas and Carol with some donations as well. Thanks to all of you for, for going above and beyond as always. Don't forget, Neil C at uniglobecarefree.ca. If you want to go on that road trip, email me, connectclay at gmail.com. If you want to look at my Canucks ticket list, and if you're at the game tomorrow night, come say hi. Second intermission outside of section 311. As a bonus, you get to meet my son, Sean, as well. Okay, friends, you guys are awesome. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for giving me energy and giving me life, even on a cold and dreary Thursday night where the Canucks didn't play, but almost every other team in the Pacific lost. So we'll consider that a win. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. And I want to know that yesterday I tried to, just for the heck of it, I looked up the paranoia hotline. There was such a thing. So I gave a call to the paranoia hotline and they answered and they picked up the phone and said, how'd you get this number? God bless. And go Canucks, go. Booyah.